Greetings. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host, and this is Lake County Community Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking with a Juanita Pfeiffer. Uh, she is a person that you should know. Uh, Juanita is a community activist. Uh, she's a resident of the city of North Chicago, and she's a painter and an artist. Good evening, Juanita. Well, hello there, Mr. Dr. Brooks. How are you? Juanita, we're very happy that you've literally taken time from your very busy schedule to be with us on uh, Community uh, Forum. Uh, first of all, I'd like for you to tell Lake County uh, about uh, your personal and professional background. Who is uh, Juanita Pfeiffer? Juanita Pfeiffer is also Mona J. Pfeiffer, the artist. Mm -hmm. I'm all, excuse me? No, I just said I agree with you. I say, uh huh. And I'm also, I'm an um, artist here in the Lake County area. I also help the students um, for is at the Dandelion Gallery, and it's called Aki Eye. And I'm also trying to get my um, other group up as Sisterhood. And that's a, uh, a group of ladies all come together that do the support and background and help each other, no matter on what they're there, where you can depend on them. And I already have uh, some Sisterhoods in the program. And that would be Regina Stewart, House of Real Estate, Judy Webb, Weber, the Love Sport Media, and Arlene Day. They are all a sisterhood on the group that we're coming together to form in order to help and reach out everybody in the community and touch all over the world. You have uh, inspiration as an artist. Uh, what inspired you to uh, be an artist? One day I I saw a program on television and uh, I seen a little, I seen a little black boy mm -hmm. and he was eating on the portrait painting. He was eating a piece of watermelon and that just sent me, that just thrilled me. And I was like, oh, I could do that. I could paint that. I know I can. So I uh, took up a piece of paper of one of my grandchildren papers and I decided to draw it. And I did. And matter of fact, I sketched it like in 15 minutes. And this is what I came up with. Beautiful. Yes. So once I did that, I knew that I could paint, I can do anything that I visualize. And shortly after that, I started seeing my work on the canvas or on the painting, on anything. I could see it and then paint it. Okay. No, uh, no nothing. Okay, so you do painting and uh, uh, and you do uh, you're an artist. Uh, describe some of your work that you like to do now. Um, I like to do a lot of soul and spiritual healing work, which um, bring nourishment and to the, uh, the next individual that views my painting and be real on what you see. Mm -hmm. My painting also tells stories. My paintings can also make you cry. My painting also can bring you joy. My painting is full of life. Now you have uh, uh, concentrating on fruit. What is Strange fruit. Oh, strange fruit. Wow. For those old and young that do not know what a strange fruit is, I am going to show you what a strange fruit is. Can you see this? Wow, yes. This is a strange fruit. You know, Billy the Holiday can the song, the song No Great or No Better. This is a strange fruit that you may find 
hanging from trees. Can you see very well? How well yeah. can you see? Perfect, yeah. And I also wrote a, um, a little quote on about that strange, that strange fruit. And it goes like, um, trees is a body and kin folks to the black man. Mm -hmm. When a tree grow, a black man has grown. Each tree on this planet has had a strange fruit. The soul was purified from the black man's blood, which is the soul, soul of the earth. Everything you eat or grow has the DNA of a black man, black man, black man. That takes us back in uh, history. We have uh, the colors uh, black, red, and green. And green typifies the grass uh, that uh, is grown. Uh, red is the uh, blood that was shed on the green and on the grass. And the person is the black person. That did you did you try to draw um, um, pictures illustrating black, red, and green? My whole concept within colors are black, red, and green, and yellow, which is all I, which is the sun. Okay. So my whole spectrum of color, I am the rainbow. So on within my painting, that's what I do, giving you all the colors of the spectrum that's in the rainbow. You know, how do you market or let people know about your painting? Um, well, starting from the Dandelion Gallery and word from mouth, but since we have this, this epidemic going on, that's been kind of hard. So what I'm doing now, I'm about to go launch off into Facebook. You can get a lot of different media and whatnot from Facebook and Instagram and then word of mouth. And then I, I plan to drive myself around and get my work out and my art. Yeah, we have a uh, um, painting. I think you, uh, let's see, uh, to have where people will not, you can get, oh, Patton is what I was thinking about. Um, have you, have you, have you tried to get a patent on your work so that no one would copy it? Well, um, Mr. Um, Mr. Mr. Brooks, when it, when it comes to that, uh, that's kind of hard at this particular time, but, um, you need a whole, it's, it's a lot when it consists on that. Okay. But uh, at this point, I would find it kind of hard. Hopefully, that's what I'm, I'm looking and seeking. That it'd be kind of hard for someone to imbricate on what I do. Because I feel that I'm original on what I do. And no one has my hand or my eyes or what's been given to me internally to put this. So if they go and try to duplicate it at this particular time, That'll be kind of hard. You know, I um, I ran into you at the post office a few weeks ago, and I remember you as a tenant of mine back in the seventies. Right? Was that back in the seventies where you were one, you were one of my tenants? Oh yes. Now, yes. I, 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 and, and you're a very good tenant. I I know that you were going to be developed into something. I didn't know what it was, but the least of my ideas was being an artist. You never know what what God has in store for you, right? Yes, that that is so true. Back in those days, those past years, wonderful days, and when I met you, you always was so kind and so open and willing to help mm -hmm. a person. You helped me a great deal. 
So you put sparks within my life as I move forward through the journey that I'm on. And I'm still on a journey. Well, thank you very much. Uh, well, I, I, I know that you were very prompt in your rental payments. I know you, <laughs> you, see, you sparked me that. I know you're going to develop into, into something. Now, the Pfeiffer, I noticed I had another Pfeiffer with PHI 1FER. Is that a, is that a, a different family of Pfeiffer's? Or? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm akin to whatever Pfeiffer that you find within this area. Uh, matter of fact, the state screwed up my name. Gave me F, no matter how I tried to change it back into the original F that was given. And then it, it's for you to speak on that. That's really not my real birth name on, on, on with me being on this planet. Mm -hmm. That's a slave name oh. that has been given to us. So that's really not my name. So at this point, if they spell it three triple double F, it's okay with me. Well, I'd like to know. Um... What made you start painting your culture? Give us a little more background on that. When I see myself, I look at myself as art. When I look around me and I see the things around me, I see nothing but beauty. Mm -hmm. And beauty is of blackness. Anything that's of, uh, of darkness that always come to the light, they have to have blackness in order to reveal itself to the light. Mm -hmm. So once you bring the darkness to the light, you always got a, 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 a just a spring of out just beautiful colors. And that's what I see within my culture. So when I paint my culture, it's just so much you can extend from just from one little color. Now, were you inspired by uh, um, Ron McAllister because he does a lot of painting in, uh, on, in oh, yes, throughout yes. the county? Yes. Ron McAllister is one of my mentors. Ron McAllister believes in me. Ron McAllister has helped me in a lot of things. Ron McAllister has also helped me today. He's, he's a great man. Okay, yeah, because his father was his mentor to Edward, Reverend Edward McAllister, right? Uh, now, now, there's a lot of fairs given, all these fairs. Do you uh, participate in those? But I didn't ask you how long had you been painting or two? About two and a half years. When I discovered that I was a painter and an artist, it was like an overnight type thing mm. when it comes to me within a, a paintbrush. And um, I get questions like, "You have you been to school for, for this? No. Well, how did you come up with, with your colors? Pretty much like the same question that you, I didn't already pretty much answer. Mm -hmm. Some of the work my colors is already given to me. I see on the board what I should put there and what color that it should be. I don't have no scale or no concept or no numbers or nothing that I go by to paint or to, to blend in my colors. I do a lot of mixing my colors. I use a lot of natural herbs within my colors. And it's just simply beautiful. Well, tell us about um, your plans for the future. I know you stated that you've been painting for two years, but what about you? What do you plan to be, say, in 10 years? In 10 years from now, I am um, looking forward to having my own gallery oh. hosting other artists going into the prisons. You got so many great minds behind the closed doors where the doors have been shut. I would like to go into the prison and help those artists and bring their work from behind the walls out into the public where all the different type of expressions, because when in painting, you can read, you can sing, you can joy. It's, it's, it's just so much in, within art. And with as I travel within that journey, I want to become uh, 
a writer, write my own books, write songs. I have so much that I need to put out into the universe before I become an artist. Tell us about I, the outfit that you are wearing, your, your, your head and uh, outfit. Just describe how you uh, uh, explain those items you have on there. I know the there items that I have on these are pieces that, that, that I am handmade okay. myself. I was just given this today. And I liked it so well because it's, it, it would be me and of the colors. And the head grip that I have on, it brings me joy. It lifts my spirit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if I'm sick or not. It draw out the illness and put in the heel. I'm wearing a dome over my head, which is like a rock. It's like the sun. So when the sun can go in and heal me, I'm able to project energy to you as well. Did I mention to you uh, how, how important it is for people to know their culture? You seem to be well up, up on the culture. You know, people must learn who they are. Mm -hmm. People must come to knowing who they are and accept who they are. You know, when it comes to color, people have a real serious problem when it comes to color. No one really never wants to be black. Hmm. Hmm. But everything around you is black. Hmm. I find that so hard to believe. But everything that revolves around you is black. It was always black before it was anything else. So a person, to come into a norm of its, its own culture is very important because every culture around here that say they have a culture is the black man's culture. Now that is serious. But most of the black of America here do not know who they are. Nor do they teach it. It's not being taught who you are in school any of those type things. And that's, that's truly important. If you're going to learn about something and you're going to learn about history instead of that dead fictitious history and bring out the truth. Black is of the planet. You can't learn history without knowing black history. Mm. There's no history without black history. It's not 28 days? How you give me or tell me or dictate to me oh, black history is only 28 days. How do you celebrate that? Who celebrates that? Black history is every day, 365 days out of a year and even it jumped double time on leap year. So when you speak on history and blackness being in history, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Well, Dr. Carter G. Woodson um, decided that he would give up his, his doctor's preparation and spend the time on developing Black history and make it known around the world. Uh, it was in February, that um, the, which is the sh shortest month of the year, but it wasn't planned that way. Um, I think it was planned. It was given because let's see the birthdays of uh, uh, oh, two famous uh, black black people. I, I the twelfth and the fourteenth, and um, I think it was. Uh, to get my history right now, um, they, it was extended to, it was, oh, I know it was Black History Week. It was extended to Black History Month uh, by one of the presidents. So now that's when we celebrate it. It's called Black History Month now. 
but but you know you speak of blackness though so, but uh, think of this dust art thou and dust returneth is in the bible right you 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 he made us from he made us from dust and believe it or not we're going to return to dust <laughs> you know so uh yes. someone mentioned about black is beautiful well black is beautiful only because we are now elizabeth um um uh, the queen Elizabeth Taylor, you know, they they use her as a, a black queen, but I wonder why they pick her in, instead of a, a, a someone of my color, or yeah. someone of, of a dark a darker shade than I. Yeah. You know, because we have multiple color. That's the beauty of being a blackness, of blackness. Multiple. It ain't no one tight skin tone. And that's a whole nother subject that we can get off into later, but I'm going to address a little bit about this Elizabeth Taylor. Number one, she, she wasn't a black woman to be playing that role. Okay. So they, they projected that image to you to make you think. You know that brainwash? Mm -hmm. So it's, it all revolves around brainwashing to make you think, you know, Blackness, and we always put black down as something ugly. Is even when you look in in, in the dictionary to tell you something like, who told you before it was light? Before when when the Lord created, that's okay. been simple. It was dark before it was light, right? Okay. So you got all of this beautiful light coming out of this darkness. Where do you think the beauty is coming from? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, how do you uh, integrate blackness in your artistry. I see you got flowery colors there, you know, but but how do you integrate the blackness there? It's showing that black is beautiful. Everything around me is a blackness. So mm -hmm. everything you see of beauty is blackness. Blackness is just the, uh, the point, the center, the, the root of all beauties. Blackness is the salt from which we all then came from. Okay. And it's just exploding to colors. You get nothing but colors out of the color black. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a great inspiration as an artist, but I'd like to know, describe us some of the type of work that you like to do now. Is that specific work that you like to do? kind of work that I would really like to do, get my hands filled with paint. I like to be in a room where I have three or four canvas, where I throw here and create here because my mind on this side is telling me to do this and this and that. I would want to be able to create different type of mirrors, mm -hmm. things that would be able to talk to the individual, to the people mm -hmm. when they look at it. People will be able to imperturb or uh, tell you what they see or what they feel in my mind. Of it. I want to be able to touch other folks' lives with my work. I want to be the inspiration in order to help all and help heal. See, painting is just not a form of art. Painting is part of a, a healing with with themselves. Mm -hmm. Painting is also if, if you got a person that's going through emotional withdrawals and different things of that nature, it helps build. It's a healer. It's therapy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you actually um, dream about some things that you want to paint uh, and, and, and wake up and want to do them? That's a beautiful question. Yes. I wake up a lot. I have dreams. And wake right up and paint what I've been dreaming. Mm. Yes, I definitely. That's part of me being an artist. I dream on what I'm going to paint. I see what I'm going to paint. Well, Juanita Pfeiffer, you've been a great inspiration to me, and I'm sure that you've been a great inspiration to our public that watching the program. As a matter of fact, you were a great inspiration to me back in the 70s when you were a tenant of mine on 
Broadway, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. and you and now uh, here it is, twenty twenty one. You still an inspiration, and I wish you with uh, a lot of success in in your um, painting and your artistry, because you are definitely a person that Lake County should know. And I wish you all the, the success in your future galleries. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Community Forum. We've been talking with Juanita Pfeiffer, a North Chicago resident, community activist, and uh, painter and uh, artist. And as you can find out, she's uh, definitely a person that you should know. This has been Lake County Community Forum. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks Sr., your host.